Hey guys, today I want to show you four easy hairstyles with short hair for back to school. For the top knot, what you'll need is two hair elastics, a sock or a bun maker. You can get these at Sally's or you can make them. I'll do a DIY on it. You need bobby pins or clips and a hairbrush. And also some hair product. This is optional, but I like to use hair product. It just depends on how clean or dirty your hair is that day. So I just flipped my head over and basically gathered all my hair to the top of my head, but I needed to use my hair product to smooth out the back because as you can see, my hair was really fluffy because I washed it the day before. So I just needed to dirty it up a bit. Once you have your hair in the correct shape or whatever, you can brush it out if you need to in the back or if you have bumps or anything. But once you get it to the correct shape that you like, just tie it with a hair elastic. And I didn't notice this until I was editing it, that, but my bun is kind of on the side. But you can put yours wherever you want. If you want it really on the side or directly in the middle, wherever, it doesn't really matter. I just make mine kind of messy, so I didn't really care. Then you just place your bun maker or sock over the elastic and then you just basically sculpt your hair around it and make sure that there's no bu uh, like, uh, bun maker or sock or whatever showing. Then you just tie it with an elastic and I can put mine around twice. It basically depends on how thick your hair is and how big your bun thing is but if it's like pretty much the same size as mine then you can probably tie it around twice but then I just like to take the extra hair and take a bobby pin and just pin it more towards the front basically on the side so that it's more down and not as noticeable and then just pin any stray hairs you have away or make it even more messy by pulling more hairs. You can also add like a bow or any type of cute clip just to accessorize. You don't have to, I just did for the sake of the video but I thought this is cute so yeah. For this hairstyle, all you need, all you need is a bobby pin. And basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna part your hair. However, my hair's already parted, so I didn't do that. But just take, decide which side you want the braid on. So I decided to use the side that my bangs aren't on, but you can use whatever side you want. But just tuck it behind your ear and basically just smooth it out. And then you're gonna start French braiding behind your head. And this can be really tricky, and I don't know how to explain how to French braid. Basically, you just um, like braid and grab pieces. I don't know, you might have to look a tutorial on it if you don't know how, but I'm really good at French braiding, so I thought this hairstyle was really cute to show. So basically, you just need to French braid all the way back until you reach the end of your hair in the back. And at the end, you'll see what it should look like. I love this hairstyle because it looks like you took so much time to do your hair but you didn't actually. It might take you a little bit of time to practice French braiding or get it perfected or whatever but basically just have fun with it and do whatever you can. This takes me almost no time at all to French braid so it was really fast and easy for me but it might take you a little bit more time so just practice it before you decide to do it before school so it doesn't take you a really long time. Then just take an elastic, I suggest using clear, but I just had to use this one because I couldn't find any other ones. But yeah, just tie it off, and this isn't going to be very noticeable, you can't really see it that well, so it doesn't really matter. Then it should just look like this, it's just a French braid basically, and I don't know if you can do this if your hair is any shorter than mine, I haven't tried it, so I don't know, you might have to use hairspray on it too. 
this hairstyle is more for those days when you just washed your hair or I don't know you just need something to do with your hair because it's not working it just looks a little blah so basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing French braiding my bangs and again French braiding so you might have to look up a tutorial on that I don't know how to do it how to explain it I didn't even try and learn how to do it I just kind of did it I don't know it depends on like what type of person you are or something I don't know but basically I'm just French braiding my bangs and I stopped around the top of my eyebrow area ish and I'm just braiding all the way down to the tips then just secure with an elastic again you should use the clear one but I didn't have a clear one so I just at this point I found my little teeny elastics the thin ones or whatever so I used that but you might want to use a clear one it just depends if your hair is longer than this you can definitely leave it down because it won't stick up but mine sticks up a little bit so what I'm doing is I'm sectioning off I didn't properly section it off I just kind of grabbed a big chunk and I'm just I just tied it away for a second and then I'm taking the braid and I'm bobby pinning it um, to the side of my head and then I'm going to let down the hair so that you can't see where it's going and it looks like a braided headband almost like when people with really long hair use it but I think it looks really cute and it looks good with like really wavy hair or anything like that so just a basic um, kind of short braided headband and I think it's really cute so yeah this is also a really great way to get your hair out of your face really quickly without putting your hair up. This hairstyle is really messy, so I'm just warning you about that. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just brushing my hair up to the top of my head like I did before. You can either use this as a top knot or a ponytail. It depends on your preference. But basically, I'm putting it up and then I'm taking chunks out of my ponytail without... I, by the way, it's not tied right now. I just have my hand around it. So I'm just taking random chunks, you can take as many as you want, as thick as you want, as thin as you want, whatever, and then I'm just going to tie it with the elastic. Then with each chunk that I took, I am going to braid it and then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and then pin it to the back where my bun or ponytail elastic is because my hair is longer than the ponytail so I have to pin it. Or you can put an elastic around it, whatever you want basically.
Now you can leave your hair in a ponytail like this or you can put it into a top knot like I did for the video. I just did it for the video but you can leave it in a ponytail if you want. I think my hair is a little bit too short right now for my personal liking to put it in a ponytail but if you like it then go ahead and do it because I'm sure it will look really good on you. Again, this hairstyle is really messy, so if you like a more cleaner look, I suggest um, doing it more precise. I don't know. Just make it however you like it, basically. These are just some fun hairdos for school or anything if you want to put your hair up or anything for short hair. And I do like to wear my hair down a lot, but you can wear your hair however you want. And these are just some fun ideas for short hair. Please subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and the links are down below. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.